You may not always see eye to eye, but I'm enjoying the company. So I could find strength to divide. I've seen you two give each other the eyes over there. Obviously, you put your heart and soul into everything you do. Gotta give it up sometime. I post a photo of the two of you. Oh, no, no, stop doing that. What are you hiding? Being an honest person, because if you don't pull it together, you're gonna lose your family. No way. My dad only noticed us if we were achieving something. I had my doubts, but I need you on my team. I am on your team. Hi. I can see you too. Good morning. Someone's cooking in the kitchen this morning, huh? It smells like Christmas. (laughs) Smells like Christmas. Well, Megan, thank you for joining me. Brad, you too, to talk about a Chestnut Family Christmas. Uh, I just love these holiday films, and this was wonderful. So congratulations on a great holiday film. And, uh, you know, Megan, Nina is biting off more than she can chew this Christmas, and she's considered the black sheep in the family. I don't see it, to tell you the truth. Well, I love that. First of all, thank you. Yeah, Nina has found herself in a group of brothers that are very successful. One's a professional athlete, one's a very professional and successful businessman with a child. And she's found herself in a career that she's not happy with. And she thinks that choosing to be a chef for whatever reason in this family of such success, that's not as good as what her brothers do. So I appreciate that you don't see it. You know, Nina, the character felt it very heavily and she goes through a lot of lengths to cover up her, you know, her real life. And Brad, Malcolm tries to help Nina. You know, he's, she's his, he's her best friend and he's pushing her to tell the truth, but, but he can't get through to her, can, can he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, Malcolm's, uh, he wants to advise her, but uh, Nina wants him to roll up his sleeves and really get involved in her lives, so. <laughs> That's uh, that's kind of where it goes. That lays the groundwork for the comedy right there. <laughs> sure. Exactly. <laughs> you know, being a passing off. Somewhat willing participant. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, uh, Megan, if passing off as her employer's luxury home as her own isn't enough. She's engaged to Malcolm. Another lie. She's going to be on the naughty list this year. I can just feel it. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, you know, she's pretending that she's the owner of a home that is not hers. She is wearing a ring, a diamond ring that is her homeowner's ring. She has gotten her best friend to lie and say she's engaged to him. Like, there's just so many things on the list of naughty that, you know, there's no, I mean, I'm surprised, you know, like, I'm not going to give away the end of the movie, but, you know, if Santa forgives Nina, that's really nice of him this year. (laughs) So, let's see the ring. Huh? Where's your ring? What ring? The thing you receive when someone proposes to you. Oh! You're talking about my engagement ring. Yeah. Yeah, what other ring would he be talking about? Yeah, what other ring would he be talking about? <laughs> I don't know. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> you know, with as much money as I spent on this thing, you would think I invested in a wow. tracking system to make sure she didn't lose it. <laughs> He knows me so well. <laughs> and, and you know, Brad, you know, Malcolm, he must really care for her because he just enhances the law. He keeps making it bigger and bigger. He even finds the engagement ring to keep the ruse going. You know, I think he's just trying to cover his his friend's um, basis. Uh, you know, once she started down that road, he's kind of there for the ride, um, even at his own detriment sometimes. Um, and his his girlfriend in this storyline isn't too happy about Nina already. So (laughs) he's very brave. I'll give him that. Absolutely. But you know, Megan, Nina receives the the best present of all, I think, this holiday. True love unwraps itself because all of a sudden this chemistry starts between the both of you, which I thought was just fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, Nina and Malcolm as characters really had something special. You know, whether they could see it at first or not, their involvement in each other's lives is really something to cherish. And I think Brad and I, we knew each other already, but working on this movie, we have a very similar sense of humor. We have a lot of fun. Um, so it was fun to play Nina and also as Megan get to work with Brad. And Brad, the movie was shot in Chicago, right? In, in a fictional world, it was. Yes, in a fictional world. I'm just saying, I think Chicago is just... What a great setting for a holiday film. I mean, just something it about really that is. city and the holiday really enhances uh, a Chestnut Family Christmas. Yeah, Chicago's a, a really rich 
kind of city to uh, to shoot holiday films in. I've, I've shot a holiday film there before. Um, and I, you know, I don't know if part of it is because it's so cold, you know, it's important to have nice coats and layers and colors um, going into the holiday. But yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a great place. Food's good. Um, so I'm always happy to shoot there. I think we uh, see New York so much in Christmas movies. And, you know, they always say that Chicago is the New York of the Midwest and the Midwest is, you know, known for its family. And so it's a nice mix. I think you get that big city in the cold and then Chicago just, it's really great for families. So it's a different vibe too. Movie. Totally different very, vibe than New York. Very. very. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Congratulations on a Chestnut Family Christmas on the Oprah Winfrey Network. Where else? Uh, congratulations and uh, happy holidays. Thank you. Happy holidays. Thank you. Thank you.